that whole time period, those, you know, Adam was more than a wrestler to me. He was my friend. He was, he was family to me. There was many nights where Adam, James, and other people would come to my house, my wife would make us dinner. We'd sit there and watch wrestling. We'd talk about all kinds of things. You know, Adam, Adam had a favorite wrestler. And, you know, Adam was a really good wrestler in the state, but he, had, he, had a, like, he liked the really bad wrestlers. He liked guys like, like Nikolai Volkov. He liked guys like Kamala. He liked guys like Kurgan because he really enjoyed bad wrestling. <laughs> Adam, Adam could find humor in anything. He, was, he could always make us laugh. He, was, he always had a smile on his face. And Adam, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to miss you forever, my friend. Adam will be missed by all his family, all his wrestling family, all his friends. We would talk almost every week. I visited Adam a few times in Calgary, but never managed to visit him or his family in Victoria. It just didn't work out. Anyway, another thing is Adam would entertain me for hours with his observations and insights. He was a very talented person as a wrestler, as a writer, as a musician, as an entertainer, um, as a comedian, as a video producer, and he was my friend. You will see tonight on the big screen some samples of his work, and I know I love him and I'll very much miss him. When I first started wrestling, uh, I had four guys that I really looked up to the most. Uh, George Michelle Starr, Tony Kazina, Mr. Thug, and Adam Firestorm, a.k.a. Torch. Uh, not only did I have over 100 matches with the Torch, or Adam Firestorm, um, he shared a lot of good memories with me. But if I can fast forward a little bit, September 26 of 2009. He graced the ring one more time. And came to her. And he gave me a great match. Sorry. <laughs> he gave me a great match. He didn't want to wrestle. But I was on him. I asked him the night before in Victoria, I said, bring your gear, you're in the ring. Me and you one more time, come on, anybody. He said, no, no, I can't do it, can't do it. So when he showed up in Panama River, he showed up, he opened that bag, and there it was. I let torture, right there. I jumped up and down like a little kitty schoolgirl, and it was just insane. Me and him, one last time. The torch will live forever in my heart. He's given me so much. God bless. Thank you, my friend. Adam Farstorm was everything you would want in a human being. He was someone that all you kids here sh should grow up to be like. He was kind, he was considerate, he was respectful, he always tried to help people, he never talked down to anybody, he, he never judged people, he didn't share his beliefs, he was always nice to everybody, he was genuinely nice, he was funny, he cheered people up, he was always a pleasure to be around, he was an exceptional human being, he was an exceptional wrestler, an amazing entertainer and all that, but he was so much more than that as a person, as a human being. He was a joy to be around. And that's why you see all the love you see here tonight, is because of what he brought to this world. It's such a genuine, nice person. And in his memory, it will remind us all to be good people and help one another and be good to one another. And, uh, you know, in the first, if you're estranged from somebody, if you, if you try to grow somebody, let it go. Or, you know, don't, don't be a friend. Don't be afraid to tell your friends how much they mean to you, how much you love them and appreciate that they're in your life and your family and your kids. 